Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some delicious chalupas. Now these chalupas are big and puffy and I'm going to fill them with a delicious meat filling. Now these chalupas are also way up here on the top of the list of my favorites. And I'm going to show you how to make them step by step. Let's get started. So I'm going to start out by roasting my Anaheim peppers. I've got two of them right here. I have already removed the seeds and the veins from the inside. Now, if you can't find Anaheim peppers or you don't like them, then you can use bell peppers. Now, my favorite are the orange and the yellow, but you can use the red and the green, or you can use poblano peppers. So let's go to the stove and roast these. So I've got my heat set on high. I'm gonna put my peppers right here, and I'm gonna just be flipping them around slowly until they get real nice and charred. You wanna be careful when you're roasting your Anaheim peppers because they're known for having really tough skin. So you wanna be patient and just get them as charred as you can, all around evenly from head to toe, just like that. So as you can see, my Anaheim peppers are nice and roasted. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna put them into this Ziploc bag and I'm gonna let them steam for about 15 minutes, just like this. Now I am done cleaning and dicing my Anaheim peppers. As you can see, I have cut them up into pieces about this size. Now I'm gonna clean up my area and go to the next step. So now that I've gotten my peppers out of the way, now I'm gonna start on my dough. I'm gonna start with two cups of flour. You wanna make sure that you fluff up that flour before you fill up your measuring cup because sometimes you think you have a cup and you really might have a cup and a fork, just like that one cup and that's two. Now I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of baking powder. About a three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it in there really good and you want to make sure that it's all distributed evenly. Now I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of shortening. See, now that you have your shortening in here, that you work it in here really good, and you just work it in a little bit, and you don't bring it all in together, you might have bunches of flour that don't have any shortening in here, and then you won't have a good dough. So I've got it nice and crumbly, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put in my milk. I have three fourths of a cup of milk. I let it sit out for about 10 minutes so it wouldn't be icy cold. So it's just a little colder than room temperature. And work it in. Now I don't usually use the whole three-fourths of a cup. Sometimes I use it all except for about a tablespoon, but we'll see how it goes today. Now as you can see, I've gotten my dough all nice together like this, and it's nice and sticky. And that's good because as I knead it, we'll lose some of that moisture. And I've got a little bit of the milk left over. Now the reason I have a little bit of milk left over is because sometimes if I don't fluff up the flour as much, I could use a little more or a little less. And today I think I fluffed it up pretty good. You can see my dough is very sticky, but as you continue to knead it, it'll start losing its stickiness and it'll come in together really well. So you wanna make sure that you give it plenty of time and knead it. So my dough is ready. As you can see, it's real nice and smooth. So I'm gonna form it into a little ball, just like this. See how pretty that is? I'm gonna put it into this bowl and I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna set it aside. Now we can go to the next step. So I've got my heat set a little bit higher than medium. I've got one pound of 80-20 ground beef. I'm gonna put it into my brazier just like that. Now I like 80-20 ground beef because the fat that it has in here just adds so much flavor to this dish. Ground beef has lost all its pink color, but it has rendered a lot of grease. See? I'm gonna get it out and then I'm gonna discard all the grease. We don't want the grease, but we do want the flavor. Now, as you can see, I have removed the ground beef and discarded the grease. And I'm gonna add my onions. 
and I'm just gonna move them around until they get nice and translucent. So now that my onions have gotten slightly translucent, see, I'm gonna add my garlic. I've got two large garlic cloves, finely minced. And I'm gonna move it around for just about one minute. You don't want to burn your garlic. So it's been about a minute and it's starting to smell beautiful in here. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. I've got two medium sized Roma tomatoes. I'm just gonna be moving my tomatoes and my onions and garlic around until my tomatoes get a little mushy. So now that my tomatoes are a little mushy, I'm gonna add my Anaheim peppers. Now I'm gonna add my paprika. I'm gonna add my oregano. I've got half a cup of water. I've got one teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And a half teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna bring it all in together like this. Now I don't wanna add any more water in here because I don't want it very wet because it's gonna be a chalupa filling. Now I'm gonna add some salt. You can add as much as you want. And that's good. And I'm gonna add some pepper. And you can add as much as you want of the pepper too. So now I'm gonna add my cilantro. Now this is optional, but I love the cilantro in here. See? And I'm gonna add my ground beef. And these tomatoes are gonna continue to simmer and they're gonna release a little bit of liquid. And so will the Anaheim peppers. And you will have the perfect texture in here for your chalupas. See how beautiful that looks? Mmm, this is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna bring the heat down to the lowest setting. I'm gonna replace my lid. Just like that. And I'm gonna let it simmer and now we can get started with our dough. So now that my meat filling is on simmer, I'm gonna start making my little dough balls, or testales as we call them. So I'm gonna get me a little ball size like this, and I'm gonna start making my little balls. See, I'm just gonna form them all like this, and continue until I'm all done. So I've got them all done and I was able to make nine. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour right here on my counter like this and just very lightly dust them. It's okay if you add a little bit of flour, but don't overdo it with the flour, okay? See? Now I'm gonna start rolling them out. You wanna roll them out to about six inches in diameter, about like that, just about the size of a corn tortilla. Just like that, not too big because then you'll have a very big chalupa. So I'm gonna start rolling them out. If you wanna use a ruler, you can, or you could just play it by ear. See? Now they're not very thin, but they're not very thick either. Just a little bit thicker than you would make a tortilla. And I've got some bakery tissue I'm gonna roll them all out and keep them in between the tissue. This way, when we get to the stove, you've got them all done and then you can just go one after the other. So I'm gonna finish rolling this one up before I finish all the rest. And I'm gonna go get my oil nice and hot. This would be a good time for you to put your oil in your skillet and get it nice and hot. So I'm done with the last one. As you can see, see? Now we can go to the stove. So I've got my heat set right on medium and my oil is nice and hot. I'm gonna put my chalupa shells right here as they come out. So 
So I'm going to put in my first one. As soon as it starts to bubble like that, you want to flip it over. See? Now you want to close it. I want to close it up like this. See? Hold it down and toast this side. Like that. Then you want to do the other side. And this is ready. See? Now pass it over here to my rack. Now I'm just going to continue the process. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest little taco stand you've ever seen? My Ron made me this. That's why it is so special. I absolutely love it. And then I painted it. See? So now we can get our shells right here. See? We've got our meat there. Now I'm going to put some lettuce. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely delicious. Some tomatoes. Now I've got some freshly grated Colby Jack cheese. That is my absolute favorite. Now I'm going to put my sour cream. The sour cream is absolutely delicious on these chalupas. Oh, look at that. A little bit of guacamole. I'm gonna put it all in here. Mmm. And now the salsa. Mm. See? Now for the taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh. Absolutely out of this world. So these are my ground beef chalupas. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think and share with your friends. Thank you.